me again. <laughs> so, um, my crazy crap going on in my job. Crazier than girls. <laughs> no surprise there, I'm sure. But I feel like I'm going back in time, freaking high school. I mean, there's at least three girls that have a crush on me, at least. One of them is a crazy psychopathic bitch. Hope she gets hers. <laughs> but yeah. Let's call her. Let's call her Mary Jane for the sake of argument. I know I said that about another girl, but you know. You get the point. She's got a crush. <laughs> I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. At the same time, when it hurts, she was singing like, oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, she was fine as can be. There's no argument about that. It's just fine as can be. I mean, she was the first girl I had a crush on when I started working. Oh my god. <laughs> she looked terrible. I was like, Dr. Smash Rags. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, like, only in my dreams would I be able to get some ass. Apparently, not no more. <laughs> really? I'm like, I'm looking at this chair, like, really? Her. She's looking at me. She's got a thing for me. Me. Hello. <laughs> it's hard to wrap my mind around sometimes, but I look at this chick, I can see the future. It's like, man. It's weird. It's hard to explain, but you know. We'll use this as an example. Um, Part of the Caribbean trilogy. I often think of Will and Elizabeth Turner's story. Like, I love stories that are probably the best part about those movies. And I also think about, sometimes I always think about Star Wars and X Men Batman and how they came together. Particularly that scene when he's about to go on a speeder bike to look for his mom. Yeah. I can see her. Episode three in general, minus the whole being in the Queen Vader thing. And I can see her in that. It sounds kind of weird, I know, but you know. Could I see her and I go off together? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I think her dad can go still. Like, oh my god. It's <laughs> like a nice power. Pretty sure he was looking at me for some strange reason. Why? I don't know. I saw her looking at me. I guess it's kind of weird. I guess. <laughs> he said something she told her dad about me. <laughs> we're, not, we're not together enough, and so I'm not sure why she would. Well, I have this habit of, uh, she's the bookkeeper chick, so I go into the back room sometimes and ask if the schedule was up. <laughs> and I honestly don't know, so sometimes I just ask her. Hey, is that a new schedule? And she'll respond about the way she does. And that's just an excuse for me to like talk to her, I guess. So I don't know what I'll say to her. Like, <laughs> she got a friend about that. One of her friends was at the workshop to grill in the back. And, uh, One of the things she said sounded like something I would say. She was talking to her and sitting at the main table in the break room. And her friend is like talking about some dude and she's like, This dude that I say, is your friend single? And I guess she said like, Yeah, or something. And she's like, Oh and he said that all you have to do is get her off the balls to talk to her. And of course, Mary Jane looked at me, you know. I'm sitting there, like looking at my my uh, notepad or whatever. I see her out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Man, when the Lord picks a girl for me, he does not hold back, man. <laughs> like, damn, where all these funny honeys come from? And how do they even, how do they even settle on me? Like, what do they do to get this kind of attention, man? <laughs> I know it's been working out lately, but geez, probably a supermodel. I mean, geez, but I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to figure this shit out. Try not to do it. I mean, try not to overanalyze it too much. I have a bad habit of that, unfortunately. Dang. I figured today I could find some way to talk to her or something. I gotta find somebody. Be the one that missed a chance to get some ass. If I can, if I can do it. <laughs> Still got that fair coming up, but I don't know if it's a little short notice or. The other girl I've tried, I thought of asking her for a busy schedule to make us some stupid ass excuse. Like our Harley Quinn Jr. <laughs> I'm going to a show on my birthday's coming. Shut up. Stupid ass brat. <laughs> Another girl I was thinking about asking to visit a college show. They still got plenty of options, I see. I feel like. I can see us hanging out together. She loves to shop at that. No surprise there. <laughs> kind of. I didn't know that before. I guess I was assuming the girls love to shop. When I come more together, I guess I'd be like, hey, baby, check my wallet. <laughs> Give my wallet. Uh, go to the game store or something. Meet up with her later. Get some ass in the back of the car or something. <laughs> Miss me. Here's a uh, here's Mr. Lightsaber, which is Leia. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Oops. If I could run into her today, my spider sense always tingles whenever these girls are around with her. I know it tingled yesterday when I was looking at the schedule and she was on the other side of the glass thing. Picture other girls thinking that they were like my soulmates or whatever that term is, but she seems to be a perfect match for some strange reason. I feel like she could be the one, could be maybe she's just another stepping stone or something. But I never had this feeling. I took a chance with crazy, ch crazy chick, but that thing is only. But then I never really fell for her, so it's not a big deal. So the bitch yesterday straight up ignored her ass. And I guess she didn't miss all that attention now, did she? My point still stands. This girl is gorgeous. <laughs> but I looked at myself in the mirror sometimes and I'm like, how in the blue heaven do these girls find me so damn attractive? I mean, I'm probably a good looking dude, but I mean, the mask I wear makes me strong. So it makes, probably gives me more confidence when I'm out there. Just like the real Spider Man. In the movie, at least. The Garfield movie is not this ridiculous Raymond films. <laughs> does make me strong, you know? So maybe that helps with the confidence, I guess. Because I've got a lot more confidence I do now than back in freaking high school. Even though it feels like I am in high school. For some reason, grown ass man in high school. Weird. <laughs> so, uh, should I ask this chick out? I don't know. Sometimes I'm just amazed that a girl like her is a single. Like, oh my god, are you serious? She's single? <laughs> of course, part of me would 
thing where I don't ever have a chance, but of course I always have a chance. This is about any one of the tricks I play hard to get, all this shy stuff. I think it was good being shy. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. They always do all these stupid signals and crap like freaking Helen Keller. Do I look blind to you? Stupid signals like, girl, just tell me if you like me or not. I ain't, I don't got time for all these freaking mind games. I ain't Professor X. I ain't gonna read your damn mind. I shit. Damn, man. It's always gonna be the difference between dudes and girls. Dudes come out and say their feelings. Girls play like 20 questions and shit. Like, you know what? <laughs> No wonder they say girls are from Venus or something. And this girl in particular is from freaking Alpine itself. I think I saw her at a, a booth that she works at. I don't even know when I read her stuff. I saw her look, fine ass look at me. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's one of the few girls that are good in classes. I know a couple of girls that are good in classes. But this girl takes the crown. know some dudes that encourage me to talk to her. I mean, she's not the first girl to talk to us for nothing to her. I'm sure she won't be the last. Unless she's the one. <laughs> Keep my fingers crossed that she is. Nice to bread orphan. I might be better that we're working in different departments so we can focus on our work and if we end up together, I feel we should be able to separate our work from our relationship. It might be easier that way. So, easier than if we're both on register or something and in love with each other. You know, we're hard to focus. So, maybe it's a good thing that she's customer service and I'm registered. But I know sometimes when I. <laughs> Hold the podium. I look over and she's smiling. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, man. She always smells good too. Damn, it smells good. <laughs> she's one of the girls that naturally you dream about being with, but probably never actually get with her. But apparently, it's not the case anymore. Like, she's really got a thing for me. Might as well go for it, huh? Get that ass. I know some other dude that's like, oh, I'm gonna be trying to get with that. Yeah, you will, chum. Couldn't get with the crazy chick. She changed with her. <laughs> she always got things for me. I didn't know it. We do get together. I just want us to take our time. We're not in any rush. I know some girls plan like decades ahead for like weddings or whatever. Girl, I'm not ready. Or you want to freaking date first before you start planning a wedding or naming your kids or something. Jeez. <laughs> What's gonna happen today? It's only you know, like 12:30 or something today. 12:30 to 5:30 or something. She'll be there, no doubt in my mind. Only question is, are we gonna move forward with our budding relationship? Is today a day when something's gonna evolve from? Being barely friends or something more? Am I gonna ask her out? Is she gonna reject me? All good questions. I should have the answers hopefully after today. <laughs>